On an airplane before takeoff, the flight attendants give safety instructions. One of those instructions is something like this. In case of an emergency, an oxygen mask will drop down from above you. For those traveling with children, put the mask on yourself first, then on your child. Now, that's not a natural reaction for a caregiver, is it? No, our natural instinct is to rescue others, especially if it's our children, and even sacrifice ourselves. But now, you and I know why they say to put the mask on yourself, then on your child. It's because if something happens to you, then there's no way you're going to be able to help anyone else. What in the world does that have to do with the fun of riding motorcycles? <laughs> well, just about everything. <laughs> Stay tuned. Recorded in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. Welcome to Peace Love Moto, the podcast for motorcyclists seeking that peaceful, easy feeling as we cruise through this life together. Are you ready? Let's go. A lot of us take care of ourselves by riding our motorcycles. Those who don't ride may say that we're crazy to risk our health by doing something that carries such a degree of risk. But you and I know that riding gets us into nature. It's exciting. It's therapeutic. It's good for our brain, our attitudes, our outlook on life. I mean, really, who comes back from a motorcycle ride sad? <laughs> Out on a ride, we may get hot or cold, or wet, or tired, but sad? No, that, that just doesn't happen. Those who depend on us need us to be safe and healthy, but if they really care about us enough, they want us to be happy too. And for many of us, riding makes us happy, and in turn, we are better equipped to make others happy. Maybe it even equips us to make the world a little bit better place. Who knows? I so admire people who become police officers, firefighters, emergency medical people. They're in direct contact with people who perhaps are experiencing the worst moment in their life. One of my great friends is a firefighter. I know Randy really well, and I know that he deeply cares for total strangers through his work as a fireman. He risks his life for them. Randy is in amazing physical shape, and he is calm and gentle. That's just Randy. He's also very strong in his faith. That preparation, that taking care of himself, equips him to take care of others. It also equips him to be a wonderful husband to his wife, Melanie, and great dad to his kids. Back to the airplane example, Randy knows to put the mask on himself first, then on others. Randy can come to the rescue of others because he does things to stay strong both mentally and physically and spiritually. He's well equipped to rescue others because he knows he has to take care of himself first. You and I owe it to ourselves and to others to stay healthy and happy. As we've talked about a lot on this podcast, we're extremely lucky to have a motorcycle that we can ride and have those capabilities, you know, the physical and mental capabilities to ride it. If riding makes you happy and gives you strength, then I believe we have an obligation to share gratitude for that, thanking the stars above first, then showing our love and kindness to other people because of the strength and the happiness we gain from that. But you know, sometimes it's not until you're on the receiving end of someone else's strength that you learn to appreciate what we may be able to do for others. A year ago, I injured my hand. I accidentally cut one of my fingers. It was bad. No, it wasn't from a motorcycle wreck or anything, but uh, rather an accident at home here in my kitchen. 
I'll spare you the details about that, but it took two surgeries and 40 physical therapy visits to get my hand functional again. I was off the bike for four months. I share this because as I reflect back on going to the emergency room right after the accident, there were people there who came to my rescue. They acted quickly to bandage up my hand, but they also attended to my emotional state, which was not good. That afternoon, I was seen by the hand surgeon who said, Ron, I'll see you in surgery in the morning. Life can change pretty fast, can't it? I'll never forget what happened when I was being wheeled into the operating room early that next morning, right after the accident. I was nervous, to say the least. I wasn't holding up very well at all. So I talked to everyone around me. That was my outlet, I guess. Even when they were rolling me down the hallway into the operating room. That must have been a real strange. But it helped me with the stress and, I don't know, just kind of kept my mind off of what was coming up. I told these doctors and nurses that I was a tour guide in Rocky Mountain National Park. Even as we stopped rolling the, and the gurney stopped underneath the huge operating room lights, I told a nurse just to my right about a guest on one of my tours and what happened. I explained that we stood in a beautiful spot surrounded by snow-capped mountains and that guest of mine said, Ron, I feel the presence of God here. After I said that to the nurse, lying on the operating table about to go under the anesthesia, I started to cry a little bit with fright. And it was then an operating room nurse took my hand, leaned down to my ear, and she said, Ron, God is in your presence now. I looked at her, smiled, and I went to sleep. I know that most people don't remember what is said right before or after anesthesia, but I'm so grateful that I remember what that nurse said to me. I remember what she looked like. I'm sure that she had a hundred other things to do, a lot of stuff on her mind, things that she was responsible for, but she shared her strength with me. She knew just what I needed. She knew just what to say. Maybe if motorcycling makes you strong, makes you healthy, makes you happy, you too may have the right words to say or know exactly what to do if someone comes into your path and they need a little help. Go out there, ride, gain strength, be happy, and share that strength and your inner joy with somebody else. Go out there and be a hero. Thank you so much for listening. I wish you peace. I wish you love.